Hi everyone, welcome to the Puzzle Studio. So originally, this was my roommate Rob's room. Um, he moved out in 2020 and I turned it into my DIY slash puzzle studio. But over the last three years, as I've been doing less and less DIY, I have been moving all of the craft supplies out of this room and now it is only puzzles in here. I did a big reorganization in January. It's now the end of March. But for me, whenever I do a big reorganization, I always like to just kind of sit with it for a while, you know, make sure everything actually is where I want it to be. But I think we're good now, so it's finally time for me to show you around. I think we're gonna start with the closet. Originally, this was just stuffed full of craft supplies, extra decorations, other random junk so i took everything out and now it is only puzzles so down here we have the 32,000 piece puzzle then the 42,000 piece puzzle and then the 24,000 piece which as you saw i have already done on this channel and then up here we have the uh big but not quite as big puzzles so we have the 13,000 piece uh, the 8,000 Sistine Chapel, we have the 9,000 Disney Museum, the 3,000 piece version of that 24,000 piece uh, puzzle. I already did this one on the channel, the Minions puzzle. This one is actually going to be coming up very soon, so stay tuned. Um, we have the underwater one, and then the 5,000 piece Pokemon one. And I don't know anything about Pokemon, but I do like 5,000 piece puzzles. And then over here on this side, uh, this isn't quite as exciting. I have some tech equipment, I have Christmas decorations, and then just a handful of puzzles. Some of them I've already featured, uh, some I should probably find a better home for. And then up here we have um, more just kind of miscellaneous vintage puzzles. These are mostly from the uh, 80s and the 90s, maybe the late 70s too. You can see I have all of my Game of Files puzzles right here. Um, I'm going to be talking about them in a video very soon. Over here I have some kind of funny shaped puzzles that I didn't have a spot for anywhere else. So then up at the top are puzzles that I have already featured and I am short so I can barely reach these. So um, up there I put puzzles that I'm not going to have to be taking down very often. And you can see that on this side of that top shelf I have so much more space to expand. Oh and I forgot to say, on the table are all of the new puzzles I have acquired lately. So after the tour I'll do like a mini haul. I also have this giant box, so stay tuned to the end to find out what is in there. So mysterious, what could it be? Anyway, over here is my uh, video background, which you know and love. So back here, I've tried to put all of my most aesthetic boxes that won't be distracting when they show up on camera. So we have the box set from Cloudberries, we have the soonness puzzles, uh, Jiggy, Bits and Pieces, Piecework, Playgroup, Puzzle Michelle Wilson, and Rifle Paper Co. All of these gray boxes are cloudberries, and you can see I have a few more down here. They have been very generous over the years. I have a copy of my puzzle to be in the background of all of my videos, and fun fact, this is actually an empty box because when it was full, it kept tipping over. So all of the pieces from that box are actually um, up there on top of that shelf. Then we have the uh, pencil holder from the puzzle. We have my uh, second place trophy, um, just some plants for visual interest. Uh, these are fake, by the way. Uh, these are from Target. <laughs> and then down here, we have all of the piecework puzzles that I used to have in my background, as well as Better Co puzzles. And again, I wanted just some really simple boxes down here so that if they show up, 
um, in my video. It's not going to be really distracting. Moving on, we have the vintage cabinet, and I keep all of these behind doors so that the, uh, the sunlight won't fade them. So you might remember that previously up here, I had a bunch of vintage puzzles like this, and I had cardboard between every single one. Well, I quickly realized that it was uh, really hard to get anything out. So instead, what I did was I switched all of this around, so now this is only Springbok puzzles. I still do have some cardboard here at the bottom, just so that the weight doesn't like collapse all of these uh, vintage puzzles down here. But as long as the boxes are the exact same size and they're not already falling apart, like it's okay to have a few stacked on top of each other. These two boxes are not in good condition, so that's why they're up here at the top. So down here, we have all of these smaller square Springbok boxes. Spring, Springbok boxes. <laughs> um, these are uh, a little bit later than the ones up here. Uh, they changed the box design at some point. And then I also have my growing collection of vintage mini puzzles. Uh, the Challenge Cup, which you guys saw I did a whole video about. Um, I just kind of stuck these in here because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. And then all of these Springbok book puzzles. Um, I definitely want to feature those in a video one day soon. And then over here we have even more Springbok puzzles. So these are the rectangular boxes, as well as the really thin rectangular boxes. And honestly, this stack is probably one of the rarest um, stacks of puzzles here in this entire room. And you might notice um, at a few places in here, I'll have puzzles kind of askew. And that's not a mistake. I know it looks a little messy, but it is just to keep the weight distributed right on the sides of the box instead of kind of pushing down on the entire box. I actually should probably just rearrange this entire stack based on which boxes are in the best condition. All right, so down here I have some of the larger vintage boxes. I definitely want to feature these contour puzzles soon. I know that you guys have been waiting for that. Um, I was actually going to do this one, and then I thought the picture was a little boring. So I went and I bought this one on eBay. Um, and then I never actually made that video and I replaced it with something else. Also, I know that you guys want me to do the whole story of the Eternity uh, jigsaw puzzles. I don't know if you'd really call them jigsaw puzzles. It's like a math problem puzzle. Um, that has been on my list for like three years now and I have not gotten to it yet. Anyway, in here we have my collection of Synergistics puzzles. Um, again, I need to do a video going through all of these fun like food themed puzzles. I think they're so fun. And I spent a lot of money on this collection and I still have not featured most of them on the channel. And then in the back we have my most vintage puzzles. So these are from like the 30s, maybe the 40s. Again, I need to do a video about all of these and I just have not gotten to it yet. And then down here we have my Eaton puzzles as well as other puzzles that are the same size, um, bits and pieces, American puzzles. Publishing Co. and the Spilt Milk Puzzles, and a very rare puzzle that I have had out on loan from a viewer for like over a year now, and I need to feature it so I can send it back to her. But here's the problem, it is a uh, solid colored puzzle, and when I do this one, I also want to do the bigger version of this same puzzle at the same time. And I have just been dreading doing that bigger version because it's going to be so hard. <laughs> but one day I will, I will make that video, I promise, someday. Anyway, that's the entire vintage cabinet. Uh, lots and lots of videos in there that I still need to make. Um, up at the top, I just have some boxes with puzzle memorabilia, so like shirts from different events and certificates, things like that. Moving around from the cabinet, we have my leaning tower of Ravensburger. Well, hopefully it's not leaning. <laughs> Since Ravensburger boxes are so 
like new and modern and sturdy, you can have this many stacked on top of each other without the boxes collapsing. So since I have so many, I decided to just make a whole stack right there. And I still have quite a few more that I can add. Moving on to this shelf. Um, it hasn't changed that much since my last uh, studio tour, but this is where I keep all of my prettiest modern puzzles. Down here, we have everything from the playgroup, uh, both the old versions and the new versions. We have lay puzz and space for a lot more lay puzz puzzles to stack up. Pretty much every puzzle that Areaware has ever released, uh, these are actually too deep back there. Uh, we have some Gallison, and then the stack is really just puzzles that I thought all looked nice together. And then we've got Tanya Wicks, uh, Right Kitchen, Puzzledly, Inner Peace, Good Fit, Grey Melon, Apostrophe, and Lemonade Pursuits. And I just love these two shelves. I think all of these puzzles are so pretty. Up at the top, we have my rare solid colored German Ravensburger puzzles, as well as the vintage crypt puzzles. A couple square ones that I didn't think really fit in the, um, the tower. And up here are the two copies that are put together. So one of them is uh, taped and then one of them is just in sections in the box. And so that way, if I want to show my puzzle for whatever reason, um, these are a little more accessible than these extra copies that are all the way down here at the bottom. Moving right along, we have my corner shelf and everyone always wants to know where I got this shelf. So I actually designed it myself and got it built by a local carpenter. But here's the thing, it doesn't fit through the door. So every time I've had to move it, we literally have to disassemble the entire thing and then move it piece by piece and then reassemble it in the room where it's gonna go. So someday when I'm not living here anymore, um, this shelf is, that's gonna be it for this shelf. Like there is no way that I am disassembling the entire thing and putting it back together again. Anyway, up at the top, we have all of the Eboo puzzles that I decided to keep. And they send me so many puzzles. I think I've given away like twice the amount that I decided to keep. These are all uh, small, like 100 piece puzzles. I actually have a video idea that would use pretty much all of these puzzles at once. So I need to make that video so I can just clear off the shelf. Then we have the Studio Ghibli puzzles, which I just featured in a video. Then we have some Wentworth puzzles. We have my collection of Jigsaw puzzle books, as well as uh, Puzzle Craze Barbie. In here, we have all of the small puzzles and brain teasers. Like these are all the Uesaka puzzles that I have done on here. In here, we just have some random craft supplies that I might need to grab in some video someday. And then at the bottom, it's just a lot of kind of just random puzzles. Um, we have a bunch of blue kazoo in there. And I love when uh, the boxes are all the same size. It's so satisfying. We have the minty fizz puzzles, um, puzzles of color, and then just some, yeah, random miscellaneous puzzles and my internet modem. So that is going to bring us over to our final shelf. And these are all of the puzzles that I have not completed yet. Well, not all of them. Like a lot of these vintage puzzles I have not done yet, but I like to keep those tucked away behind a door again so they don't get faded. But these are all of the modern puzzles that I have not done yet. So up there, I have the entire human body. They finally sent me the arms and the legs and all of these fit together to make a 10 foot man. So uh, someday I'm going to be able to do all of those. Again, it's another video that's on the list. Um, then we have some more just miscellaneous puzzles that some of them I'll do in videos, some I'll just do for fun. Uh, Katie actually got me this Sriracha puzzle for Christmas this past year. I was thinking of doing a video that's like all food themed puzzles, but I don't like spicy things and I feel like I have to 
like eat some sriracha if I'm gonna do this puzzle. So thanks Katie, thanks for that. That'll be my version of hot ones. <laughs> And here are all of the other um, brain teasers and Lazel's puzzles that I still have to do. Oh, I actually forgot I had another Iwasaka puzzle that I have not solved yet. Okay, one, one day soon. Again, some more puzzles that I have not solved. And then a ton of Ibu puzzles and these uh, world of puzzles that, again, I still have to get to. I was actually thinking of doing a video that's like, finally solving all the puzzles that have been on my to-do list for years. I think they sent me this puzzle literally like three or four years ago and I still haven't gotten to it. Another one for the list. <laughs> but speaking of new puzzles, uh, let's take a look at everything I have gotten lately. And actually these I also just got at a puzzle swap, so I'll go through those as well. Okay, I know that everyone really wants this to be another uh, giant puzzle. Unfortunately, um, it's not. So I opened a PO box so that when viewers send me things, they don't know my real address. And uh, I had three things there and the time limit was almost up for me to go pick them up. So I just had them mail them, like forward them to my real address. I mean, I hear puzzle pieces, but I don't know what puzzle is in here. So not one giant puzzle, but a handful of smaller puzzles. Wait, but what should I do with this box? I could make like a fort or a spaceship or a giant puzzle piece. Um, oh my God, no, oh my God, no. I didn't press record. <laughs> No, why? No, I just filmed the whole thing. Oh no, I'm gonna have to do all this again. Um, I just, I already opened the first box and then I did this thing that was really funny about how I opened this package and I didn't know what it was and it was like a cat condo and I was like, I don't have a cat. Why would you send me a cat condo? But then it turned out there were uh, jigsaw puzzles in there and I wasn't recording for any of it. No. <laughs> Well, I guess we just have to move on. So anyway, in that giant box was this um, vintage puzzle, which I have been wanting for a while now. It is uh, not really a jigsaw puzzle. It's these geometric shapes that you can rearrange into these different patterns, but I just think it's so vintage and so cool. She also sent me this vintage puzzle called Spheres to You. It's from the company Hoyle and it's from 1986. Love that picture. That's going to be really fun. And she also included um, another Hoyle puzzle. So this one is called Triple Bogey and it is a golf design. Okay, so I guess you guys didn't even see me open this box. Well, as I said in the part that didn't get recorded, <laughs> um, this new company called Ohia sent me a bunch of puzzles. They do Middle Eastern puzzle designs and I just love featuring puzzles from all different cultures and countries. So here is one of them, it's 500 pieces. We also have this one, which is a thousand pieces. I think that'll be a little more difficult. We also have this one, which is 500 again. And I love how on the back they have their whole story. And then there's also this one, which is a thousand pieces and it is Middle Eastern cuisine. So I can't vouch for the quality of these puzzles because I haven't done them yet, but there is the company name if you want to check them out. And now I have one more box to open up. <laughs> I keep double checking that I'm actually recording this time. And it is, oh yeah, two, two Springbok puzzles. So we have this octagon one called Sweet Sentiments. And we have this one in an octagon box and it is called Historic Baltimore. So this one is from 1967. That's wild. This thing has existed since 67 and now now it is mine. Okay, so Debbie found these at a local thrift store and she got them for 
50 cents. Um, while I'm down here, let me just show you what I got at the puzzle swap. So now that we are kind of gearing up to Worlds in September, um, well, it's like six months away, but <laughs> but I'm already starting to collect as many Ravensburger puzzles as I possibly can because the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships use Ravensburger puzzles. So it is just really important to get really, really familiar with this exact piece cut and the illustration styles that they tend to use. Um, here we have a super vintage puzzle. This one is a jig zag puzzle. And uh, I think the, um, the people at the Puzzle Republic who ran the swap, yeah, they had kind of pulled this one aside for me already. Oh, and then they also gave me this. It is a jigsaw puzzle watch. <laughs> Look at that. And then I also grabbed two of the 500 piece Ravensburger puzzles. Again, these are super important to practice on because this is what the individual and the pairs competitions use. So I grabbed two of those and uh, I do work with Ravensburger. So theoretically I could get as many Ravensburger puzzles as I need. However, I've thought about this a lot and I personally feel that while it's okay for the sponsor of the event to sponsor the videos that I make about the event and to pay for my travel costs for me to be there, I just feel a little weird about them supplying training materials. Like that to me feels like it's stepping over a line where then it's unfair to the other competitors. So I'm just gathering Ravensburger puzzles sort of on my own. Um, a few other puzzlers out here also have large stashes of Ravensburgers that will all be swapping between each other. So I just wanted to clear that up like far in advance. Anyway, there was also a woman there who had a bunch of vintage puzzles. So I picked up, wait. No! Oh, wait! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> wait, no! <laughs> it's the exact same one! <laughs> the same one that I had sent to my P.O. box I picked up at the Puzzle Swap. <laughs> okay, well, I guess this one will just go straight back to the next swap and someone else can have it. Anyway, I also picked up this super creepy doll puzzle. It's called The Doll Shop. I'm obsessed. I think it's so funny. And I also picked up this kind of shiny, glittery peanuts puzzle. Look at how glittery it is. That's gonna be super fun. Oh my god, no! Why do I keep doing this? No! <laughs> I turned off the camera to stand up and grab the next box and then I forgot to turn it back on. What is wrong with me today? Okay, well, as I was saying, I have this little box and you guys do not want to know how much I paid for this little puzzle off of eBay. Um, this is from Game of Files and I'm going to be doing a video all about them very soon. So I've been doing a lot of research into all of their puzzles and this series seems pretty rare. So when one of them just popped up on eBay, like right after I had been researching them, I was like, well, clearly I have to get it. <laughs> and then, okay, I'm definitely recording this time. I have one more package that I wanted to open on camera. Look at how fun this is. It's like a special present coming in the mail. And uh, again, I spent a lot of money on this one. So this is the newest one from Lazels. I did a video about Lazels last year, but if you haven't seen that, the thing with this company is that their puzzles are super limited edition in the sense that they are only available for one hour. So you sign up for their mailing list and then you get a text when uh, the puzzles are available. You have one hour to buy it or like to pre-order it. And then they go and make all of the ones that were ordered. And then that's it. And you can never get them again. So this one was uh, $350, I think. And I just had to make a spur of the moment decision if I was going to spend that. And clearly I did. So the entire puzzle fits in this canister. Look at how 
teeny teeny tiny those pieces are. I have two other Lazel's puzzles that I still have to solve, so it is on the list for me to uh, do all three of these in a video coming up. But okay, let's get everything put away. This is what the studio looks like after filming a haul. Um, let me, let me move all of this stuff out of here and out to the recycling. <laughs> So these two are easy. They're going to go over in the vintage cabinet. Here's another vintage puzzle that I actually just got on eBay. I've been wanting one of these for a while. So this is a scrambled egg puzzle and it is from the... Ah! It is from the World's Fair in 1934. So it's this wooden like 3D puzzle where you end up making an egg. Um, I think they came in three different colors. So I think I have two more to collect. Anyway, she will also go in here with all of the super vintage puzzles. And then let me pull out this guy so I can show you uh, the next two. Okay, I just got both of these off of eBay. I've had this one for a little while now, so I knew that both of these um, were from the same series. I've known about them for a while. Unfortunately, this is pretty much all the information. Uh, there's no year, there's no company. I don't really know where these came from. But then I heard from a viewer who had found these at a thrift store. Uh, this is not the one uh, that she bought, but I but one of them showed up on eBay. So it's the same two puzzles, but released with different packaging. And actually there's a little information on this one. So this is the, uh, the red eye, the solid red puzzle. Yes, I bought another solid red puzzle. So I am on the hunt for this puzzle, but the uh, black and white version. Um, okay, next let's try to get all of the Springbok puzzles put away. So this one was uh, given to me as a late Christmas present from a friend of mine. And then this is one that has been on my list for a long time now and it was sent to me by a viewer. It's called Simultaneous Disc. Oh, it's so perfect. I love that. Do I have space for two more up here? Uh, just... No, I don't want to force that. Okay, I'm gonna move the hexagon or the octagon puzzles I think down here and then this stack will just be uh, the round puzzles to make sure that the name is facing outward so I know which one is which and then one more octagon yeah that'll just slide in right here This one, I have no idea where to put it. Um, getting a little crowded in here, I guess. Oh, I don't want to put it with all the big ones. Uh, well, I guess, I guess I can just put it in there for now. And then I also recently uh, picked up a new puzzle on Amazon, which is kind of rare for me. But I have wanted this Ravensburger puzzle of puzzle pieces. It is so perfect for me. Okay, we're almost done. So the same friend who gave me that round puzzle also gave me this Mensa puzzle, which is uh, a jigsaw puzzle on one side. And then I think there are brain teasers on the back. So it's like both a jigsaw puzzle, but also um, like a brain teaser puzzle. So uh, someday I will definitely be featuring this one. But for now, uh, I think it'll go yeah, up here with the other kind of large square boxes. Um, a viewer named Rhonda actually sent me this, which claims to be the world's smallest thousand piece puzzle. I definitely want to investigate that claim someday. Uh, she also included this, which I'll just do for fun and then probably bring to a puzzle swap. And look at this! She also sent me this cross stitch and this puzzle hat. That's so nice. 
Uh, speaking of crafts, Susie, who sent me some other puzzles, uh, also sent me these puzzle bags. So I'm gonna have to think about where to put all of this extra puzzle memorabilia. But anyway, the very last thing is this memory game from the playgroup. Um, I didn't even know they were sending this to me until it showed up in the mail. So I don't know, does this go with the other playgroup puzzles? Do I put it out with my board games? I guess I'll leave it here for now, but I'm gonna have to think about that one. And then I know that I said I keep all of my puzzles in the studio, but that's not entirely true. Um, my dining room table is currently just filled with all of the puzzles I've solved lately. We have this one from the playgroup, which I did a Patreon video about. We've got this fun one from Gallison, a quick Eboo one that I solved the other day, and the puzzle Michelle Wilson, which I posted a lot about on my Instagram story, and all of that footage uh, is now on Patreon. And then I also had two copies of a puzzle that I've been keeping over in my bedroom so that they didn't accidentally show up in the background of any of my videos but the secret is out. Um, everyone knows about it now. It is, in fact, the second Karen Puzzles puzzle. There's going to be a full announcement video where I share the process and every single detail about this puzzle coming in about a month. We're releasing this puzzle internationally, so it is already available in some countries, but the US release will be at the beginning of May. But speaking of this being partly a haul video, um, look what Ravensburger just sent me. So now I have 10 copies of this puzzle. So a bunch of friends will be getting early copies just so I don't have another stack of puzzles here in this room. But if you are able to get one early, um, please do it. This is honestly, I'm not even saying this, this is honestly the most fun puzzle I have ever done in my entire life. And I'm not just saying that because I made it. Like, it is so fun. I cannot wait to tell you all about it. So I'm actually filming this outro about a week and a half after I filmed the rest of the video, and I already have another pile of puzzle boxes. I got another couple new ones from Puzzle Michelle Wilson, which I am always so thankful for. I love these puzzles so much. I was also gifted the new puzzles from Sue Niss. I'm super excited for these, especially the colorful gradient one. And there's a new company called Puzzle Bomb, which uh, gifted me all of their wooden puzzles, which look so cool. Look at all of those shapes. I'm very excited to try them out. And that's not even counting the other two boxes that are in the living room. One of them is a puzzle for an upcoming competition, so I can't open the box yet. And then I have some puzzles for an upcoming uh, sponsored video, so it's just like, you guys can see, I just constantly have puzzles coming in and out mostly in. <laughs> so keeping them organized is no joke. I feel like I've organized this room about as far as it can go. So now when I really do fill up all of the empty space that I still have left, like that's going to be the point where I really do have to find another bigger space to move into. But thank you for coming along with me on this journey. Um, let me know in the comments how you organize your puzzles. Your code word for the comments will be organized. Happy puzzling and I will see you all in the next one.